anyway, my name is Lori Craig, and um, this is a classic way that I teach. The equipment goes down, and I don't care. So um, you have ankles, and about 85% of these injuries that happen to the lower body are ankle sprains, right? Which means you've damaged what? Some of these lousy ligaments. Well, they're about a a gazillion. Have you ever looked at an ankle? If I had a picture, I could show you. We've got help coming. We have help coming. Well, find your own foot. I have to have brought two. Take off your shoes. Now look here. I have this thing that hangs down. It's what? Distal fibula or the lateral malleolus. Everybody say that. Look how long the thing is. And then on this side, thank goodness someone did my toes. What's on this side? Medium huh? All right, now, which is longer? So, lateral is longer, so therefore, eversion is not as likely to happen because you got all these bones running into each other. But inversion, that's the ticket, baby. Most of these injuries are what kind of sprains? Inversion. Well, then you've got damage to ligaments that attach that. Have I turned this thing on or off? Here, give them this. I'm turning the remote off. You should just get it back up without the remote. So anyway, you have inversion sprains. They are the most common injury. And people are walking and chatting and not paying attention to anything that happens. And they walk along and then the foot goes, yes? Well then, if it's an inversion injury, what ligaments are going to be injured? The opposite side, the lateral side, yes? Now you're in a mess. So then you're going to have these ligaments that make a T that go from that lateral malleolus in three directions. Click, click, click. Is it happening? We don't need it. We don't need it. Find your lateral malleolus. What bone is this again? I already forgot. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I think there's a ligament that goes in the front. Is that what is that called? Anterior. It's called the anterior talofibular ligament. From the talus to the fibula. That's the one that's weakest, so that's the one that's gonna go. You have a posterior talofibular ligament. It's the strongest. And then in between you got one going down to the calcaneus. And an idiot can remember ligaments, because all they do is name from the bones that they go to. They don't have those crazy names like, you know, the Wolf, Bonds, Volkman, somebody's <laughs> canal, right? They just tell you the bones that go from this to this. So when you make this injury, then all the tragedy begins, right? You now are losing stability. Uh-oh. Part of what creates new stability for you is the swelling. It's your own personal built-in splint. But then, of course, it goes crazy. It's too much. It's excess. So what muscles live back here? Peroneus, longus, peroneus, brevis. Hey, where do they go? Peroneus longus. Fibula, like the top of the fibula. Peroneus longus, this is a good one. Round, swings around like a curtain pulley, through the cuboid, under the, all the way to the bottom of your foot. Man, now that thing can get damaged too. It has an insertion tendon. Rip. It has muscle leak. Tear. Now you've got toxins everywhere, and because it's so far down to your feet, then you've got to somehow get them back up. And the lymphatic system and the venous circulatory route are not exactly great at managing this. So what would be one thing you could do to assist those guys? Elevate. Is that it? I thought it had R. What is that? Good night. Rest. Why do you want this to go faster? What if you 
want this junk done and managed. Take Come in, come in. Use Genius. <laughs> and use Cryoderm. Now listen here. I'm not lying about this. In my household, Cryoderm is found as frequently as like water. There's Cryoderm in every room. My mother uses it to gamble with, with all my old friends. Because it's great for all these old arthritic hands, joints, swelling. So there's nothing better. Now, in addition to the packing that Lloyd's going to teach you, you know, you might as well not do this because I'm done. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm more done. Um, you need to use those peroneal muscles. Sometimes you have to work those babies because they are now responsible for the stability that you've lost um, because of the ligament damage. So sometimes your people will come in and that peroneus longus and brevis, I need to have peroneus brevis. Peroneus brevis, lower half of the fibula to the fifth metatarsal. Does that little dead that sticks out? Do you remember what that is? Do it, do it, find your foot. Fifth metatarsal, go from your Little toes, move toward your heel. Oh, I fell off. What did I land in? Cuboid, but right before that, there's a little styloid process. So it's on the styloid process of the fifth metatarsal, rah, rah, rah. And what does it let you do? What do the peroneal muscles do? Plantar flex and evert. What is evert? <coughs> Bottom your foot rolls out. Well, good night. I can just lie on the table now because I don't have to do anything. I told you all this crap. <laughs> well, let's see what else I can come up with. Nothing. Any kind of injuries involve anguishment. Let's see how much I remember. Wouldn't that be something? More range of motion for inversion than inversion. Why? Because of the bones. Because of the bones. Yeah, what a hot dog. Excess inversion causes lateral ankle sprains. Three ligaments. Anterior, what's this go from? Talofibular, easy calcaneofibular. How did you figure out that? <laughs> exactly, then you're going posterior talofibular. Weakest, medium weakest, strongest. All right, so now, let's look at this left now. I'm going to sit here. I can't figure out where it'd be to sit. I'm too close. This is this bladder malleolus, so this is the anterior talofibular ligament, posterior talofibular ligament, calcaneofibular. Didn't I tell you it made a T? Yes. All right then, forget it. You don't even need to look at the picture. You already knew it. Right? <laughs> Strong. Ooh, I didn't mention this. Medially, you have somebody called the deltoid ligament. You know about the deltoid ligament? It's really four ligaments. They got lazy and named it one. Thank God, I might add, because it's too much for me to say. One, two, three, four. Collectively, this is called the deltoid ligament. Now, not only do you have that aversion to eversion. I just made that up. I like that. Now, you don't evert as much because of the lateral malleolus hanging down. But you have all this strength here from this deltoid ligament. I mean, if you want to get hot dog, you can name it. Posterior, tibiotalar. What does that go from? Tibiotalar. Yes. 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 Jeez. <laughs> right? Tibio goes to the heel. Tibio navicular, anterior, tibiotalar. So now, do you want to say all those names or do you just want to call this mess the deltoid ligament? <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Where is deltoid ligament? Medial, and therefore medial is stronger. Good night. Did y'all already know this? Because you're hot. Ooh, we have damage in the room. Anterior talofibular ligament. This is that lateral malleolus going down here. It's torn. It hurts. You can't walk. You can't bear weight. Now your gaze off. Now you're screwing up your hips. Now you're screwing up your back. What should you have done instead? Simple. You shouldn't have fallen to start with. Be careful. Good. 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 All right. The peroneal muscles may be injured during the sprain. They may be hypertonic. Ooh, they're tight. 
So that means you need to do what? Massage them, stretch them, rest them, use your cryoderm. Uh oh, I had like, woo, you put your shoes on. Here's the front is longest. Fibula, down with this tendon, down, swing around, ladder mallows, through the cuboid. First cuneiform, first metatarsal. E version. And then I just have a review of the whole show because Lloyd, of course, won't mention the muscle man to be busy showing his stuff. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. What are these things? You remember retinaculum? Bracelet guys? They can even be damaged. You can get soft tissue injury and therefore pain and swelling everywhere. And guess what? Your client doesn't care. All they want you to do is fix it. So your job is going to be wrap it up deal with it. I put the media one in because, you know, some people do get media damage. So what the heck. You're in the whole zone. I love these guys. You know, I put it in mostly so I can say Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> Remember them? Yeah. All right, then. So, tibialis, posterior, flexor who, digitorum longus. You're a hot dog. And flexor hallus is longus. There they are, behind the medial malleolus. Oh, we can get a medial sprain. <coughs> Look who's hurt in a medial sprain? Deltoid. Deltoid ligament. And with this, because the most important part of this show is the cryoderm, if only I could, could you do my shoulders while we're in here? Um, I'm passing you on to Lloyd, and thank you so much. <laughs>